Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back for Greg Tech New Horizons Season 2. Uh, just started putting on a roof. It is black, like kind of like asphalt tiles, but I don't know. It's kind of hard to see in this dimension, but uh, I think maybe when it's all like really all kind of built up, it might look cool. Um, also, I think in, when I get this finally built, I'm pretty sure this is going to be way, way bigger. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. This will probably be all moved. Uh, like I said, a bunch of times, this was just set up just so I could get the base moved over. Um, but this is going to be moved, that's going to be moved, and kind of put in its own little area. Uh, yeah, I would like to get a very large... Uh, clean room eventually because I did the same thing in the first season I had I think I did five by five on in the inside but it's still quite small for all the stuff you want to do in here especially if we start getting AE cables in here this is really small um, so that is something I definitely want to I definitely want to get a much much bigger one Maybe like nine by nine on the inside. I can't remember how much the the things how big you can make this actually. Uh looks like fifteen. You can make it fifteen by fifteen. So the inside would be thirteen by thirteen. I don't know if we need to go quite that big, but uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe. The it's the the things on the inside which are the filter machine casings are quite a pain. Well, I mean, most of it in general is kind of a pain to make. But the filter machine casings, especially when you start increasing the, the size. Um, yeah, it's just all these filters. It needs a lot of zinc, um, which gets much, much easier. But needing three each... And then, if you think of it, this has to be square, so the next size up would be, uh, what would it be inside? 5x5 five five on the inside? Uh, so if you imagine that, you're going to have to craft up 16 more filter machine casings uh, to increase the diameter by 1 on the inside. Uh, I think that's right. Right? Yeah. Or is it? Let me... It be four by four in the I'm just trying to think like oh maybe it could be four by four on the inside. Yeah, maybe it's four by four is the next size up. That'd be a square. Yeah, that would be a square, right? If it was four in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> I think you could just go up, yeah. So I have three by three now, then it could be four by no it can't, because this has to go directly in the middle. That's right. Uh the clean room controller has to be directly in the center. So four by four is does not have a center so it has to be five by five in the middle all right that's what i thought i thought it had to be um i thought it had to be a odd number uh, i don't know i'm not gonna stare at that but uh yeah so that gets expensive very very fast um as you increase the size so 25 by you need 25 uh, these on the inside, and then if you want to go up even more, you would have to add, you know, it'd be 49 of those, because it would be 7x7 seven seven on the inside. So, yeah, it gets, uh, it gets crazy. But, uh, anyway, enough talk about that. Uh, I do have to edit this, because I have one more Patreon, and that is, let's see if I can get the, there we go. <laughs> so, Thanks for joining my Patreon. Again, if you'd like to contribute to the channel, uh, my link is below for my Patreon and also Discord there if you'd like to join my Discord. Uh, anyway, last episode, we got partially done with the... Um, let me grab this out. I kind of just emptied out my inventory to keep... A little bit organized. Uh, we ended up getting... I don't think we need that right now. 
uh, bisphenol because I'm working towards epoxid. Eh, probably a bit uh, jumping the gun a little bit with the epoxid, but I figured, you know, something a bit different. We haven't done any chemistry stuff in a while. Um, we're going to be getting into a lot of chemistry stuff here. Uh, basically, EV and up is just massive amounts of different types of processing and chemistry and all sorts of fun stuff. But uh, I think, yeah, we're going to work towards the epoxid. Um, because with that, we'll be able to get better circuit boards. Namely, the epoxy circuit board. And the epoxy circuit board lets us get the advanced circuit boards, and that opens up quite a bit of stuff. Namely, the nanoprocessors is the main reason I'm working towards this. Uh, I find this just makes this easier. Um, I could be wrong, because <laughs> there are quite a few other things we have to do. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think we're going to do this. Um, needs clean room. You could do the single block in the clean room or the large chemical reactor, which is its own clean room. So that's something to think about. But uh, it just reduces the amount of SMD stuff we need. And small coils and just fine red alloy. And that it just, I don't know. I really like pushing for the most efficient. I hate doing the, like having to craft MV circuits to craft HV. So... Am I getting a little ahead of myself? Probably. But, uh, all right. Anyway, uh, so we got the bisphenol, which is part of it. And the next part I need is the epichlorohydrin. I have a thing right here. Um, you can do glycerol or hydrochloric or glycerol or allyl something. Allyl chloride. I think I'm going to go that route. Uh, just because it's propene and chlorine, I don't have to start a... A farm for like seed oil or fish oil or anything like that um, it basically just uses products that I'm already getting from oil which I have to go get more oil keep forgetting to do that um, unfortunately we are a little away from ender tanks I'm pretty sure they need IV stuff um, I don't have the thing unlocked yet unfortunately uh, but in term dimension uh, not quite there yet. But we will make use of the inner tanks. Anyway, I am just yammering along here. Uh, I need to get this L chloride. So, circuit of one. Propene. I actually got this really quick, to be honest. That it, it, where did that go? There it is. Um, yeah, propene didn't take anywhere near as long as I thought it would be in the, uh, my little setup that we did last episode right over here. Yeah, we got we got that pretty quick to be honest. And I have no idea how much we have left. Oh, we have gone through all our naphtha. Yeah, I need to go get uh I need to go get more oil for sure. Um do we want I'll probably just use stainless. I was just thinking I'm like large fluid, large titanium. Yeah, I was thinking maybe titanium. Because that carries 128, but yeah, that's eight. I don't know. I'll think about that. But uh, get that going. Also, I will probably update for next episode. I'll update the pack. Um, still not sure about pollution. I have heard uh, to maybe delete it or disable it because it doesn't. It's not perfect yet. So I don't know. We'll see. That's kind of my one thing that's really making me want to not update. But there are some really cool. There are some really cool things in the update, uh, especially when it comes to prospecting. I know one of the other things, we'll take a look at it next episode, is um, I believe all these are 
the same now. Instead of having like 1,000 in this and then 16,000 in this, they're all the same size, um, which is pretty awesome because some of the ones like the distillery, they only have the one, one bucket or whatever. And it's, it is kind of a pain to be honest. Uh, so that's kind of one of the cool things, but we also have a couple nerfs in the update. So, um, anyway, I will look into that and probably update for next episode, but, uh, all right, there we go. We got our, a little chloride and that we mix with hypochlorous acid now hypochlorous is its own thing i mean, don't have any of that i have hydrochloric um, which we can break down into chlorine and hydrogen again um but how do we get this it looks like we need a thing of mercury but we do get 10. oh chlorine in water i don't know we're into like the <laughs> What do we want to do? Yeah, chlorine and water, I think. Uh, I do need a bit more chlorine, but I have tons of tons of salt, like a massive amount of salt, uh, which gets me chlorine at this point. Is it even worth putting it through there? <laughs> I am going to throw it through the thermal centrifuge, though, for the borax. Borax is kind of helpful. Uh, that is kind of why I purified that stuff, because I do want to send it uh, to start at least um, at least getting our oh, look at all that rutile. Look at all that delicious titanium. Um, I do have to process that as well. Um, I need to get, well, we're still working on it. <laughs> I was about to say we need to get that automated. I say that every time I look at all that. But, uh, oh, look at that. 87. Oh, beautiful. And it's still got some more to go. Um, all right. Uh, let me get this hypochlorous acid and then we will mix it with sodium something, sodium hydroxide, um, which is just some sodium and water. Yeah, salt water, sodium hydroxide. Um, or I could just do it this way. This is probably the easier way, to be honest. I don't have to worry about making salt water. But uh, yeah, let me get that and we'll be right back. All right, uh, I ended up actually going a little bit of a different route because I realized that, uh, not that, for the hypochlorous, hypochlorous or whatever, um, you can do chlorine and water, and it kind of is easier. We'll do, I'm actually going to be doing this one. So 10 water, 10 chlorine gets you 10, and then empty cells. If I do the other ones, we end up with, like, I use more chlorine, and I ended up with diluted hydrochloric acid. So I don't know. That just seems a bit cleaner. And mercury is really easy to get, if you don't know. Uh, you can get it from redstone or cinnabar. Um, I just threw some redstone in there because you do get ruby dust and silicon from it. So that is super helpful. And some pyrite, which is iron. But uh, yeah, mercury, super easy. Centrifuge, two cinnabar gets you one bucket or 10 redstone and gets you ruby. Um, I probably will be setting up a chain for this just to process... Lots of redstone down into ruby because ruby is so important for chrome. Um, but yeah, that is what I ended up doing. Also, I need to, I still have a chest full of a whole bunch of cells in the old base. I look, went over there to see if I had mercury and I have glycerol in that chest. I have ammonia in that chest. So I could have used a bunch of it. <laughs> Uh, there's a whole bunch of satane diesel that we got from quests, so I need to go get that. I need to just finish getting the rest of the chest. I just, uh, <laughs> I've been putting it off, to be honest. Uh, all right, uh, so the LL chloride, we're going to do 
we'll do this one. So, oh, I need to get the hypo, hypochlorous acid first. So, the mercury, the water, and that. I have to do this twice because we need 18 of this. All right, there we go. And I think, yeah, all right, cool. That is that. Now that will be the hypochlorous acid. Even just use these empty cells for that. And I think, yeah, eventually this will probably all just be large chemical reactors. I'm assuming. I'm assuming we can actually do that. <laughs> I haven't actually looked. Um, hold on. Yeah. Directly into that. So easy. Yeah, that one's definitely more efficient if you add some mercury. Otherwise, you end up with diluted, which is in itself kind of a pain to deal with. All right, so we got that. And now we need that one. So that sodium hydroxide. I actually have a couple extra and that. And this should be epichlorohydrin, right? Yay, there we go. And then the salt water I can actually just uh, electrolyze down again to get our some chlorine back. Very nice. All right. I also have to deal with all these different. Uh, they are building up in here. For sure. Uh, I need to deal with all my fluids. Um, yes. Yeah, I still haven't decided if I want to do fluids in the A system or have them separate. Like, not use fluid cells, but do, like, storage buses. Uh, I don't know. Fluid AE just is so laggy. I know it's be it's better than it used to be in NEI. Or not NEI. Uh, 1.7. The extra cells, it's just so... That mod is just so laggy. Um, but maybe I will. You just got to be really careful with like export buses and stuff like that with fluids because the if it's doing little tiny amounts constantly it can get super super laggy. All right. How did I How did I mess that up? Oh. There we go. So that will be No. That, 18. And I'll have to take a look at those rewards, but there we go. Polyethylene, neodymium, uh, almost like empty cell. Uh, I should probably just take the loot bag though and enchant it. Neodymium's easy. Polyethylene's relatively easy. Uh, I'll do that. I probably have a few loot bags in here that I need to deal with. I should probably do that before we finish up this episode today, actually. Go do that. But I really want to wait till I get the Thalmic Re Restorer so I can restore the thing. Uh, so we get more than three uses from it. All right. So there we go. That's that done. That's that done. I actually ended up doing this quest accidentally. There is a, another one. And uh, there we go. So epoxid. Oh, I need more sodium hydroxide. All right. So I miscalculated that. Whoops. Um, also, I need to make sure I do the correct. Nope. Not that one. Um, what's, is it epoxid? Epoxid. Resin, epoxid. 
uh, where is fluid solidifier? There we go. Molten epoxide. I got to make sure I do the correct recipe. So we actually get the 125. I'm assuming it must be that. Does this get us a better ratio? Yeah, we're not doing that. Although that does skip some steps. The large chemical reactors just make stuff so much easier. Like acetone, hydrochloric acid, epichlorohydrin, phenol. Yeah. Instead of having to mix them into like allo chloride, you kind of mix it here. All right. I need some more sodium hydroxide. I totally messed that up. All right. There we go. Easy enough, just sodium and water. And uh, there is that. So we need epicor hydrogen in there, bisphenol there, that in there. And there we go. Simple, easy, <laughs> not at all difficult and complicated molten epoxide. And we get some more salt water. So you do get quite a bit of the chlorine that we put into it back, which is pretty cool. But uh, overall, not not too terrible it's mostly gotten from oil byproducts so like ethylene and propene and then we use those to and added a bunch of chlorine but uh all right so there is that i'm pretty sure that's the no how did that not ah how did that not register oh greg tech new horizons Um, that might be bad. Also, totally forgot that, uh, it would be easier to do that, I think. Yeah, because we don't need to hold that. All right, let me make sodium hydroxide again. That is annoying. Uh, thankfully, we have absolute ton of sodium. Did I not have 18? I thought I had, I thought I did have 18, didn't I? Maybe I put them in the thing too fast. All right, hydrogen, bye. We don't need hydrogen. I have a whole, like, a mountain of it, a tank over there. Yeah, let me get that, and then uh, the molten epoxid, we will just throw in fluid solidifier, which I don't have. Where is my fluid solidifier? Is it still back at the old base? Maybe I didn't bring it back over. Do we have a bigger fluid solidifier? Man, I le must have left it over the old base. All right, I remember now. It was my... I had it hooked up to the Toluene. That's what I was using it for. So never... Uh... Bad things happened. Bad things happened. All right, we are back. I actually had to restore backup. Thankfully, it was just a few minutes before, but uh, I've gone ahead and kind of built a thing around this. Uh, I tried to place another void portal down, but it was it went to a different world. Now, I have no idea what the heck is going on with this thing. I'm assuming this is what caused that issue. I don't know. What the heck that was? Obviously, it was an infernal mob that shot something at me, and I'm assuming it did something with the portal. But uh, all right, got to be careful <laughs> with with that. Hopefully, we will be done with this. Uh, be done with this world. I just need to finish getting all this stuff. Sodium, my oh, I've uh, actually emptied those out. Oh, probably because I, that's right, I didn't have a dolly, and I don't have a dolly now. <laughs> but uh, I need to get all this stuff, all my tanks dealt with, and uh, I'll probably do that. Uh, I'll try to work on that uh, in between episodes, I guess. But fortunately, I don't have a whole ton of time. Uh, but all right, so we got our fluid...
our fluid uh, solidifier. So let's just solidify this epoxid. Hopefully, all right. I don't remember if I had built the base mount far enough. That's LV. Good. I'll throw this in there for the toluene, but uh, all right, there we go. That should do that. Thankfully, it's not too slow. But uh, I don't know if this is going to work out to an even amount with the 144 and 18 buckets. I, I don't know how that. <laughs> Hopefully we don't end up with like a little bit of it, but uh, yeah, so that is our epoxid and then we can look into that, which is this epoxy circuit board. So we can start getting some of this ready. These recipes are so slow. Um, question is, I don't know how many of this is going to make me do it. Do we have time in a bottle to tick accelerate this? We do not. Although there is world accelerators in this. There actually are tick accelerators in this. Um, can't remember if that actually accelerates these machines though. I, I actually don't remember. I remember I used for crops and bees, but those are tile entities. I don't remember. I honestly don't remember how they worked with the that, but uh, we'll be right back. All right, uh, that did even out completely, which I figured it probably did because it was such a specific amount, 125 and 18 buckets. So that actually did even out perfectly. Um, titanium. Bang. Man. Titanium, I'm just going to take the titanium. It might be, we might get something better from the loot bags, but titanium, it's just a done deal. And uh, I'm going to take that. Oh, it only needs one. That is kind of surprising. Usually it, uh, it would need like 16 or something like that. But uh, all right, so we need the gold foil and then electrum foil. We have, yes, I made a bunch of Electrum for those dang circ or the dang motors. Electrum wire, it's the, uh, that HV? Yeah. No, Forex cable, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> yeah, M HV motors, yeah. So much. It's uh Yeah, it's like eight eight ingots per eight ingots of electron per motor. It's so much. Alright, uh epoxid and that, and then I did have sulfuric acid somewhere. Yep. We can just buy this from the store. It's kind of the easiest. Or I think this one actually came from I think I was actually, uh, you know what, let me, did I just use eight? Holy cow, that is, that's two ingots of gold. I didn't, re I was just gonna use up the last one so I don't have a, a thing. Um, I think I got that from hydro or diluted sulfuric acid. Which I don't remember how I was getting that. How was I getting that? No. No. I don't remember how I was getting this. I was getting it from something. Mixer? Oh, I think... Nah, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. But, uh... Yeah, all right, so there is that. And then the Electrum foils, it's also eight. But uh, I have iron chloride somewhere. 
Somewhere right there. And there we go. That is our advanced circuit boards. Um, I have some sodium persulfate. I should probably use that up. I have a lot of like random amounts of acids and fluids in all those chests. But now I'm like terrified to go into the other world. Uh, is my world going to be bugged? <clears throat> I do not know. All right, but uh, there we go. There is our advanced circuit boards. Like I said a couple times, was it getting a little ahead of myself? Yeah, probably, but uh, I was really kind of looking forward to getting these, and uh, we'll take that for sure. We'll take the, uh, the loot bag. Um, I should go enchant a bunch of those. We'll open those up at the beginning of the next episode. That's what I'll do, I think. And uh, then we can continue uh, progressing a little bit, I think. Yeah, this does require EV. Um, right, I will update. Let's do that. I'll update the pack, and then we'll check out some of the changes, and then we will progress a little bit, because this is going to be a change in these motors from annealed copper to black steel so that's definitely something we're gonna have to deal with but anyway that's gonna be for this episode so thanks for watching and have a good one